Hello, my lovelies. Elsie here to do your sneak peek for this week. How are you? I hope you're well. The sneak peek comes out Monday or Tuesday each week. I try and get it out by the Tuesday, y'all. Yeah, Monday's so action-packed for me. I hope that your Monday was good, and I hope you didn't allow it to push you around at all. And uh, yeah, I'm here to just read from Aries to Pisces. So if you've never been here before, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the tribe, and I hope that you will stay. I hope you'll subscribe and uh, be in the comments with us, because that's where we like to be. We like to communicate in the comments getting to know a few of you and it's lovely and uh, if you're not into the comments that's cool just give me a thumbs up on the way out that'd be awesome thank you so much all right so we go here from aries to pisces i've marked everything down in the description below and um, all you need to do is uh, scroll this video to find what you need but please 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 stop watching tarot just for your sun sign At the very least you should be armed with your sun moon and rising all right here we go for Aries. This is your sneak peek for this week, Aries. Sun, moon, rising. Venus and Jupiter. What is up for Aries this week, please? What is up for Aries? By the way, Aries, I just took these out of the package. It's like a brand new deck for you. First one line. Yep, that's what you are. All right. It is uh, Tarot the Mystical moments is what it's called so we have the eight of pentacles we have the page of cups and the six of cups so the top of your mind page of cups that's interesting energy um this energy the page of cups here it almost feels like nostalgic a little bit to me it's like something that you're missing someone that you're missing yeah it's like i wish wish I could see you. It feels like somebody who is feeling nostalgic about some sort of um, feelings that they have for you. Yeah. Someone still has you in their heart space. This might be someone that you have worked with before. The Eight of Pentacles is here. And we have the Six of Cups. You've known this person for a long time. So you may have worked work you may be working with this person right now or you may have worked with them in the past because the eight of pentacles is in the past and so i think this is memories i think that you have kind memories or memories of um i see this as like appreciation or um yeah it's like it's it's the kindness mixed with love that's what it feels like to me and I think that you've known this person for a while. I feel like they're probably in your past. And every once in a while, you might look in on them. Maybe some, maybe you watch them. Yeah, you could be watching them. I feel like you feel connected to them in some way. By the heart. By the heart. And you, you have good conversation. She's wearing blue, so it's uh, throat chakra. She's wearing blue, it's the throat chakra. Um, throat chakra is ruled by Taurus, that could be a Taurus. So it looks like uh, if we are talking about someone that you work with, it looks like one of you left the workplace. So the Six of Swords is here. It felt like it was too much chaos. You didn't like the job. I feel like it was you. Maybe you didn't like the job and it was. it's time to go. Six of Swords. I need to go from the chaos to the calm. And I think that it was destiny. You felt... You felt it was destiny to leave that place of work or whatever the Eight of Pentacles is representative for of you. Um, I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is here now. I think that this is the current energy. So I feel like in this energy that you're still... That you have moved along and I feel that great things are happening in your life. But I, I what I want to say is that your Wheel of Fortune is connected with the Six Cups. There's something either that this person said or did for you that sent you on this beautiful path, is what I want to say. So it's like you still have affection, like some beautiful nostalgic affection for this person because you do consider them to be a soulmate. I want to say that this, this, this person, the Six of Cups, this person's also in your future. So if, you know, she's looking to the past, I feel like you helped this person in the past or you helped them or they helped you. Um, 
and I feel like things are coming back around and this person is going to be in your future somewhere. Knight of Cups, you have feelings. Even though you had feelings, you left. That's what it looks like. So, and it makes sense, of course, because it feels like you... You're in the same workplace. That's what it feels like. Or you know them, like maybe if you don't work with them, maybe you are both doctors or you're both soccer players or circus clowns. I don't know. <laughs> you know, whatever it is, you, you, you've you done the same thing in the same type of environment before. Um, you might have been trained in the same way by the same person. You know what I mean? There's a sort of an association that has to do with your professional life. But I want to say that you moved along or moved away because it was too chaotic is what I want to say, but you went to some place that was really beautiful. But what I want to say is you never really forgot about this person. That I think we go from some really sweet nostalgic love here to the Knight of Cups. It feels like it's almost like as if your your heart has grown since you've been away from this person. And you have a better understanding of love because understand the page of cups is very young this is a teenager this is someone who hasn't really experienced much in terms of love and so um uh it's you know everything they learn is about the heart space is a lesson right at this point it feels like somebody has grown from being the page of cups to being the knight of cups somebody has grown in their uh understanding of what love is The Hierophant could have feelings for a Taurus. I did say that up there. Just listening. So there's, there is no communication with this person um, that has connected you through the workplace. There's no communication with this person right now. Um, I want to say that you're you're probably in another relationship at this time, but you haven't told anyone or you haven't told this person, um, this person who is the soulmate. It feels like you're in some type of commitment right now uh, that is romantically related. Yeah, there is romance here because of the Knight of Cups. We have the Four of Pentacles. It almost feels as though you're still holding back, though is what I want to say. And that the Hierophant can be marriage, but it's more like you follow me and I follow you and we're kind of getting to know each other about how we traditionally want our roles split. And it's all of that to me. Um, but the Four of Pentacles tells me that you're either not telling people about this relationship or that you are holding back. You're holding back possibly making the big commitment with this person because of a broken heart and it's connected with this soulmate so it is it is someone else that you're thinking about sorry i dropped a card always falls in the worst spot <laughs> we have the five of wands three of swords and the five of wands so it feels like you're hmm, you're still undecided about whether you're you're going to remain in the situation that you're in right now is what I want to say, Aries. Uh, the Five of Wands tells me you're still in uncertain. That's that's not being able to make a decision. The Three of Swords, am I getting my heart broken? I'm not really sure. You're holding back from this commitment because you, I think that you know that that this isn't your person. I'm just going to say, I think that whoever this is, whoever you have this commitment with right now, is this person you know, I think your gut's telling you that this is not the person because I think your person's right here. We have the Five of Swords here and uh, the Five of Wands. So you're feeling in lack, maybe a lack of communication, uh, lack of feeling the passion it feels. So it feels like you are in some sort of a committed relationship, which to me means, you know, there could be a little bit of commitment. Either we decided we're not seeing other people, we're just going to focus on each other, or maybe it is, um, maybe you're engaged to somebody, but it feels like you're still unsure. There we go. Because you know where your heart is. Yeah, you know where your heart is. It's right there. All nine cups. Yeah. There it is, the four of wands. I feel that you're really not... 
I feel like you're you're standing your ground because you're the emperor. I think there. I think that you're the emperor. I think that you you hold it all down. I think that you're the one that everybody's looking at, right? And I feel like maybe you're not making a commitment because you don't really know if you want to have a commitment or not. You're trying to ask your gut, I think. Seven of Swords. Uh, seven of Swords, right? Seven of Swords and the and the High Priestess. It's like I know what I'm thinking, but I don't know want I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it out loud. All right. That's this week. Wow, Aries, that's some some pretty intense energy. We don't usually read like that for you. <laughs> All right. Here we go, Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter, my bull gang. How are you, Taurus? How are you? If you're interested in a private read, please look below into the description. You will see the yellow dot. That'll take you over to Wizio if you're interested. All right. Here we go. Here we go, Taurus. Three of Cups on deck. Top of your mind. Wanting to have some type of reconciliation or maybe be asked out or go out to a party. You want to get a little more social, I think, which is never a bad idea. Ten of Cups. Ten of Swords. Hmm. Some cycles ending here. So it feels like you are making yourself available to date again, is what I want to say. Um, that you've decided that the Ten of Swords needs to come to an end. We need to close this cycle of silence, yeah, hurt, whatever's in the mind. I think we're going to end the cycle, go to the Ace of Swords. I'm ready to speak now. I'm ready to open up to someone and give them clarity about me. We also have the Ten of Cups here. Um, it feels like you had been holding on to the Ten of Cups for a while, and I, I feel like you've decided to, either you're seeing it from another side, possibly, or the higher self, maybe, is telling you things, the Hierophant energy here, but I feel like this is coming to an end, too. Like, the Ten of Cups, is, it's not that it's coming to an end. I feel like it's just, you know, it's the natural progression of things, that when you're happy, it's time to look for a relationship. And, of course, after the Ten of Cups comes the Ace of Cups, right? So, um, you know, we've got Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups, but we We've also got Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, right? And it feels like you're ready. Yeah. You're ready. You're in you're ready and you're saying to the universe, bring it. Yep. I'm inviting in all of the messages you want to bring. Send the messengers, please. Somebody sounds like somebody has finally surrendered. The person maybe who's been waiting 30 years for their person and has realized that it's time to just say, look, I'm gonna have fun with my life. Yeah, I'm not going to wait for anybody anymore. That's what it, it feels like a change of attitude or a, a change of mind. Yeah. We have the judgment. It's a big decision and it's going to change your life. You're making a life-changing decision right now, Taurus. Um, it feels like with the judgment card that you are throwing caution to the wind. I want to say with her hand that way. You're throwing caution to the wind here. And I feel like it's time for you to get out, get social, and meet people. Yeah. Got the strength card. So it's going to take some courage. I feel like it's going to take some courage, but you know what I want to say is that for those of you who do have Leo energy, Taurus, if you have it in your moon or your rising, you know you don't have a problem being social, right? You really don't. Yep. Feels like courage. I'm trying to have the courage to do different things. So what I used to do wasn't working for me, and I've realized that pattern. And so now I'm making a big decision about what I'm going to end. What I'm no longer going to tolerate is all those swords. <laughs> You're no longer going to tolerate the two of swords where you can't make a decision or the three of swords allowing someone to break your heart. You're just not going to tolerate it anymore. That's what it feels like. You're making a decision to just, to just um, focus on you to be seen by other people, to go to social gatherings when you're invited. I think you you have an invite coming, I want to say. The page of uh, wands is here. I feel like you have a an invite coming that is going to be connected to an Ace of Cups. It's going to be a positive, you know, a positive thing that they're inviting you. And um, they're going to say, hey, so-and-so is going to be there. Yeah, I think your, your friends are conspiring to get you out there, get you more social. We have the Ace of Pentacles. It's 
also looking for some place to uh, place your next pentacle. You're looking to invest in someone. It looks like you're you're thinking about settling down, yeah, and to, into the long term relationship here. We have the Ace of Cups. There it is. <laughs> Yeah, we're talking about it right there, right? The Ace of Cups is here, and then we have the Death card. So I feel is that you are um, transforming the way you think about emotions and about love and who you're going to invest with. I really think that you have... It, it feels like with the Ten of Pentacles here that you've changed your mind, that you're investing now in a long-term relationship, that you're no longer just going to, um, you know... You're no longer just going to go on the dates just to find friends. And I feel like you're you're kind of being really selective is what I want to say, which is really lovely to see. Uh, I feel like you're being really selective because the next person is going to be your ride or die, right? That person is, is going to ride shotgun. So I feel like with the death card here that um, you are having a, a change of... You're, you're changing the way you feel about long-term relationship because I think for the longest time you were non-committal or you weren't interested in a long-term relationship. Uh, we have the high priestess here. You know what? I think that you've had a transformation in your life is what I want to say. It's a transformational moment that you realize that in within the transformation that you've become the high priestess and i say that a lot because only because it happens to me but i wonder how many other people go through a full moon or go through a new moon um and uh their gifts get clearer or they have something added on or something that you didn't see before you see now that that kind of thing i want to i want to say that the trans the transmutation of energy here the transfer transformation of energy here is not just about love it's about how you see yourself it's about how you um how you see other people through your third eye it almost feels like you've you've had some type of level up in your high priestess energy so your gut is right on point or you start um you start saying things just before they happen or something like that, whether it's you're going to sneeze or careful, don't go down that road, right? Um, the king of, of uh, pentacles here is you, right? Yeah. Um, that's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, of course, Virgo and Capricorn, because we're in a general read. But what I feel is that um, opportunities find you people find you opportunities find you that's what the king of pentacles is about right the king of pentacles doesn't really have to go out there and hustle all that much the king of pentacles is blessed and and once the king of pentacles becomes you know this person who's very balanced they start calling in the energy they no longer have to go out and find the opportunities they have the minus touch whatever comes to them will bring them money whatever they touch will turn to gold i feel like that's where your energy is right now after this transformation and I think you're ready. I think you are feeling grounded. I think you're feeling that you can have stability in any sort of group. I feel like your, your um, psychic self is on point. Tell me what this message is. There's an invitation coming here, I think, to some sort of social event. What is this? <laughs> All right. We have in the future, we have a woke emperor. Look at that. Or at least an emperor who's looking for themselves. Who's now, you know, looking to the stars, looking to the sky. Um, this person, this emperor, I feel in the future wants to have victory. I think that you probably have encouraged this person in some way to get on a spiritual path. And I think it's since this so I think this is happening this week. I think that, yeah, I feel like that because that, you know, by, yeah, absolutely. Because I'm sorry, I'm saying, yeah, because Charlie's saying it's this week that we're having the uh, coming up is, is when we're having the full moon, right? Yeah. So there could be a change in some of that. So the Eight of Swords, uh, the Star, and the Seven of Wands. What I want to say is that about this invitation, that somebody is giving you this invitation intuitively. 
uh, they are calling you. They may not have talked to you in a while. Uh, maybe someone that you've socialized with before, but this person is going completely intuitively. They're going to offer you, uh, they want you to come to their party, to their social gathering, whatever it is, and it took them a very long time to make this decision. Um, the Seven of Wands tells me that they're going to say, I'm not taking no for an answer. They're just going to stand their ground on it. This is your invite. I'm going to come get you. Don't tell me you don't have a vehicle. Do you know what I mean? This person is, is going to get you to that place, that social place. They're going to get you there no matter what. There we go. There's the full moon. <laughs> We're just talking about it, right? Yeah. So the full moon's coming up on the, on the third and the fourth. And I feel like it's on the full moon when you meet your soulmate. But the king and the queen of pentacles here. And we have the, um, the full moon. So I think that if you get some sort of an invite, you should probably take it. I mean, you're going to do what you're going to do, right? If you don't want it, don't do it. But um, Five of Swords is coming up. Be careful how you speak. Two of Swords, making the decision to go. Yeah, I, I need more conversation. Ace of Swords. Yeah, you make the decision to go in the very near future. Um, even though, you know, the Five of Swords is like, I'm going to meet assholes, but whatever. You know, I just need to be out amongst people. You're up in your head about it, but you do make the decision to go. The Ace of Swords is so, so smart. Five of Moons. Interesting. A little bit of sadness. I wish, I wish. Four of Moons. Page of Pentacles. Something begins. You're going to meet someone who's going to ask for your number. Yep. For some of you, not for all of you. All right. Here we go. Gemini. Happy birthday, Gemini. You know what? I never, ever remember to say that to the signs. So I think I only said it twice, maybe once to Aries and twice to Taurus, but now you're already at number two. Yeah, so you, I've already made my quota. <laughs> Thank you for coming here, for clicking here. I do appreciate you so, so much. Don't forget that you do have your, uh, your air sign reading coming out this week. Yeah, I will be reading for Gemini for the week ahead this week. All right. Here we go. Let's talk about Gemini. Sun, moon, rising. Venus and Jupiter. Tell me about Gemini. If you're interested in a private read, please look below for the yellow dot. You will find what you need there. All right. Gemini, where are you off to? You're off to find love. You're scared as hell. <laughs> You're brave, is what I want to say. You shouldn't say scared as hell. You should say brave. And that's the Nine of Wands, right? Even after you've, you've, you know, the, you've been forged through fire. You've been through a lot of stuff. Yeah. And I feel like sometimes that you carry it with you. I feel like you're trying to be more brave to come up from, from behind the wall here. We have Aries. You might have Aries in the chart. Maybe you don't. But we also have Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Uh, I feel like you're ready for love, is what I want to say, Gemini. I feel like you, even though are still feeling apprehensive, feeling like you could get hurt, I think that you know it's at this point where you can kind of drop those burdens. You don't really need to protect yourself anymore. Besides, I'm going to say that the person you find is going to make you drop the walls because this person's nine and there's one wand in the hand of the fool i feel like the person that you meet on the new chapter that person brings you the last wand and allows you to unburden yourself this person is someone who is emotionally intelligent feminine or masculine they are someone who is maybe not showing you what's going on on the surface in terms of their feelings for you but i do believe that this person is the one who always do the right thing because they're always working out of the heart space. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, if I didn't say. So we have the Page of Pentacles and a Two of Swords. You're about to make a decision. Yeah. It's a decision that I think is, is the most beautiful thing you're ever going to do for yourself is make this decision. Because I feel like there is somebody waiting on the path for you. Someone who, um, who's going to show you what love is course there's the old I, I see it as a cliche but I want to know what love is right um, that's the name of the song and that's kind of what I'm hearing is s this person is going to show you what love is it's like you don't know what it is the decision you're about to make to um, to move into this new chapter here and begin again 
I think you're making yourself, what I want to say is you're putting yourself in an open space. So I see this is very dark and very closed off, right? People at your back, it's sort of, you know, miserable. You can't always go to have someone at your back protecting yourself. And then I see this as kind of like opening up, being quite ethereal, right? Opening up and saying, you know what, I've, I'm just going to, this person's got their arms open, right? I'm just going to go with what the universe says. So I feel like you're making this decision. You will make this decision. Maybe not this week, but you're clearly thinking about it. Maybe you're just getting yourself back out there for dating, or maybe there's a specific person on your mind with that page of pentacles that can indicate that maybe you want to take somebody out. Not with a gun. I'm in out for coffee. <laughs> ah, I don't know why I'd say that. I'm feeling silly today, by the way. <laughs> And then we have temperance. You could be dealing with someone who is Sagittarius. Or someone that you see is very balanced, Gemini. Someone that you see that that is um, that not, not only practices balance and uh, waiting for the right time to say something or do something or materialize something. This person is the alchemist, right? They're the person who's who's who knows uh, uh, intuitively when everything is in its place and when we can move forward to the next step. So I feel like you're going to know when it's time to move forward here. But I think that when you do, whatever this chapter will bring you here, I think that you are to meet someone who is going to teach you all about love. Because this back here shows me that you're the wounded warrior. You're used to people, you know, using you for money, using you for, for whatever, right? Just, I feel like you... You aren't someone who really has been shown what love is. You haven't been loved correct, I want to say. We have the three of wands in the reverse. So you are waiting for the right moment. I feel like when the right moment arrives that you will make the decision. And ooh, it has to do with your heart space. And that's why you're waiting and listening. And I think that's great, actually. You're waiting and listening, uh, waiting, listening, uh, waiting, and um, the universe, you're waiting for the universe to tell you when to go. The Three of Wands isn't about waiting anymore. It's about, I'm just not waiting. I don't, I don't want to wait anymore. But the universe is now holding you back just a little bit until you voice. I always say to people, talk out loud. I mean, it sounds weird and you think you're going to talk to yourself and it's crazy, but honestly, talk out loud. Say to the universe, look, I'm ready to make this decision. I'm ready to make this decision about love. I don't want to wait anymore. We have the judgment card. So you're making this decision. And what I want to say is I already felt it was life changing right here because I feel like you meet the person that helps you drop your burdens, which opens up your heart and allows you to feel things that you didn't feel before. And although it's very tumultuous, it's a decision that you make, the decision that you make that changes your life. So for some of you, that's going to mean that you're going to resurrect something or have a reconciliation. And for others of you, you're the one making the decision to change your life in terms of, um, of how you feel things out. I see this as Pisces and Virgo energy. They both feel things out. And you are, it's like you're regrouping is what I want to say. You're regrouping yourself because it's going to be time to go and I got to make this decision. I think you do make the de the decision because the judgment card is here. You might be wanting to go back to the past to see someone that you've known for a while. The towers here. This is this Just listening, sorry. I have the windows open by the way, so you're going to hear this street noise. Yeah, so it, it was inevitable. Mm -hmm. It was inevitable. You were supposed to start this new chapter. The big decision that you're making is because you're in, a, in an awakening or you've had an awakening. You now see things for what they are. The things that are dangerous, you see as dangerous. And the things that you that you see as transformative are just that. I feel like this is all happening around the heart space, though, because we go from the knight all the way to the king here. So this could be you or someone that you know, but I feel like whoever it is, somebody is going through some type of so many changes that are 
hard to deal with and they're really opening your eyes to the things that you were missing before. And I think one of the things is I have to go back. I need this reconciliation or I need I need to resurrect this thing I thought was dead, this love thing here. For some of you it's that. For others of you it's it's the tower is coming in to say this is the biggest decision of your life. You've been through a lot in a, in in a short time, a lot of changes and you know the the changes that the judgment brings are hard because some of you are like in the comments no i don't want to see this person but you understand by obsessing about how you don't want to see this person that's what brings them running this judgment is stuck to the knight of cups here somebody it's somebody doesn't want to wait anymore yeah, they've been trying to find the courage to come forward for a while. It's been very quiet, I believe, but they're very serious about the situation. So you could be dealing with um, Virgo or Pisces, you could be dealing with Scorpio. Uh, we have Sagittarius here, we have Aries up top, and we have Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer over here. This week, I feel that someone, you, possibly you is having is going to gain the courage to speak to someone about the four of wands it feels like you have been through some type of awakening or a journey um, that has taken you from a place of uh, you know maybe i'll just start again ace of pentacles or page of pentacles maybe i'll maybe i'll just start again and just put my feelers out there and see what's going on but it feels like the universe cuts in and says no remember that Remember that thing back there? Judgment card? Remember the thing you thought was dead and done and gone? It's transformed. It's still there. It's viable. But you're going to have to be strong because it's been silent now for a long time. So if you do want this with this person, if you want that Ten of Cups, then you're just going to have to do your part. And you're also going to have to be brave enough to be accountable for the things you did that also caused the tower. Right? It's about being accountable all the way around. We've got the Five of Swords and the Two... Nope, the Lovers. I thought it was the Two of Cups. So I think that there is somebody here that you had maybe some harsh words with. Um, or it's a relationship that was really hard. Yeah. That's why you became single, right? That's why you became single. That's why you just are now carrying your pentacle around. I feel like you're looking for, you're looking for uh, the lover. Yeah, the person that the universe has intended for you. I feel that's who you're looking for, and that's why you're so serious. But it feels like you're breaking the silence with someone particular, and uh, this person is single. I think, and they are in your future. All right, Gemini. That's this week. Cancer your turn cancer sun moon rising venus and jupiter how are you cancer i hope you've had a good monday thank you so much for clicking here i appreciate you and if you're interested in a private read please look down below in the description you will see the yellow dot that will take you to wizio where you can book me all right here we go cancer sun moon rising Ooh, okay not going to ignore that it came out on its side. That could be the challenge this week, but it is whatever's on the top of your mind here. We've got the Three of Cups. So, why have we, the, why have we got the Three of Cups for Cancer, please? Might be a social week for you, Cancer. Hmm. You know what I think? I don't think you're going to take the invitation. I'm going to say, you know, it's up to you, of course. It's always up to you. It's your perception. But bottom of the deck, we got the Wheel of Fortune. I'm just saying. I feel like you get a last-minute invitation, is what I want to say. And maybe you're a little bit pissed that it's last minute, but I feel that it is. I don't think that you go out to social places much anymore is what I want to say. I don't think that you really go out to group things anymore. I feel like you, that you stopped being social a long time ago. It feels like you work a lot. Your money and stuff is going great. You've had some type of an awakening. 
as it pertains to your three-dimensional world, and it looks like things are about to look good for you in the future. We got the the King of Pentacles is under the deck as well. So it looks like uh, for you, Cancer, I'm looking more at a kind of a, you're really basking in the glow of having great business um, right now. Business is working really good for you, or you've just gotten a, a raise or a promotion possibly. So tell me about this, this, uh, this last minute invitation. What is this? Hmm, interesting. It might be from the King of Cups. Maybe you are the King of Cups. King of Cups is Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. And what we need to know about, about Scorpio, or yeah, Scorpio, is that, it, you know, very stoic on the surface. Not really going to show you what their plans are, but I tell you, this person is, wow, beautiful, beautiful unicorn underneath. I think that you have a lot of feelings for the person who invites you. But I feel like you stopped going to social things a long way back, is what I want to say. It's time for you to be seen. It's time for you to be seen because it's time for you to, to have a breakthrough in your emotions. What I want to say is like, in your mind, you're like, man, it was a last second invitation. They didn't really even want me there. But I feel like you tell yourself that because you've stopped going out to social engagements. And I think it's interfering with some things. Now, the sun is growth. So, you know, just understand that when you're not speaking to other people, you cut off, you know, people that you could be networking with or people that you could be meeting. It's like, I don't really want to talk to anybody anymore because it always ends up in emotions and I don't want to talk to anybody. The sun is here. I feel like you want to be seen, but you don't want to go through the crap that it takes in order to in order to socialize. I feel like you feel vulnerable, um, really vulnerable in your feelings right now. I've got Leo, Leo energy here, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Ace of Pentacles. I want to say that this last minute invitation here, it may lead you to something that is quite lucrative. And if it's not business related, it is something that affects your 3D world. It could be somebody asks you to invest in something that makes you a lot of money or you ask someone to invest. This could be relationship related, but, you know, I feel like it's it's someone, if you do meet them, they're probably an earth sign or a water sign, but I feel like it all starts with this invitation. So I feel like you are kind of closed off to the invitation, if I'm being honest, but I think you're supposed to be seen. If you can't be seen, you can't be invested in, and I feel like you are your own billboard, is what I want to say. You're, you're probably someone who has a business, who is your own billboard, and it feels like, you know, you don't like to... You don't like to, to deal in these social situations, especially the last second ones, because sometimes it feels uh, too vulnerable in the feelings. You're going to have to be vulnerable around people as you speak with them, and I don't think you're down for it. Why do we have the Ace of Pentacles here, please? Cancer. I really do think you want to meet someone. I feel you've been thinking about it for a long while. And I also see that you've been working on yourself because we have two kings here. So the king of swords, you've probably been working either on how you say things or how you, um, yeah, how you relay information possibly that I feel as though it's really hard for you to find someone that you're really passionate about because I feel like your attraction, the first thing you're attracted to um, is the mind. I feel like you have to be really excited about the way the person thinks and the way they think in business or the way they think about money. Just listening.
Yeah, you need to be really connected to them in terms of their mind first before anything else moves forward. Hmm, you know what? I'm just thinking that, I, I'm just looking at it for a completely different point of view and it feels like I just got the poke from someone else says, what about my story? <laughs> <laughs> well, as I'm looking at it now, it also could be that you, Cancer, are thinking about giving a last-minute invitation to someone that you have some big feelings about because you feel like, you know, the sun is out, it's summertime, and it feels like you want to be seen. You want to invest in somebody who you're very passionate about the way that they think, but I feel like there's been an ending here. So, I feel like there there has been an ending here of sorts because of the world card and the lovers in the reverse and the death card wow wow oh you've had a change of mind i think you've had a change of mind about something it feels like well with the lovers in the reverse it feels like you uh, are either unsure or you were unsure if somebody here was a soulmate and I think you ended it because you couldn't tell. It's like you couldn't get your feelings to the surface. Now your feelings are at the surface and now you see that there needs to be some type of an apology since you've had this transformation. Since this situation has ended, the world card with the lovers and we've got the death card, since the situation has ended, I feel like you think about somebody here more often than not, that maybe you could be the one also giving the invitation, but I was looking at it from the point of somebody receiving the invitation. So it could be either way. This is someone that you did walk away from. Someone who hurt you deeply. This person probably walked away from you because they had another offer. And you just shut down. You completely shut down. You just decided, you know what? I'm just going to shut it off. I'm going to get out of the chaos and I'm going to go to the calm. So if you're the one that has the feelings, I feel like you've been sitting here in this in this energy for a while. Yeah. Feeling bad about it, going over it word for word, sigh for sigh. That's what it feels like. You've been trying to heal. I feel like it's working because you're showing up as the king of as the king of cups here, emotionally available, ready to go. Yep. You know, still kind of making sh you're still going to be so stoic on the surface. I feel like you're not giving people all of it. You're going to hold back some of your cards, of course. But I think that you know how to do that now. I think you realize, too, that you're the one that's in charge of the invitation. Like, not the invitation, but the Ace of, the Ace of Pentacles. You're the one that's in charge of making the investment. Because it looks to me like you walked away. Something ended this ended with the soulmate you weren't sure if this was a soulmate it looks like everything ended here but you were the one that walked away at least emotionally anyway if not physically so i feel like you've been thinking about this person there it is you haven't told them how deeply you feel for them and how much you just want you're just dying to start again yeah you haven't said anything though because you don't know what their answer is going to be and you don't want to get hurt but you'll always go in for the passion. I think you're going to take action. Um, I think you're going to take action. I think this page has already been dispatched. And I think that there's going to be some communication going on here soon. But it feels like the Ace of Wands is on the table. And because I feel like you need to show this person how you feel about them. Yeah, we've got the King of Wands. We've got the King of Cups. Yeah, it's time to show this person. And the King of Swords. We've got pre-emperor energy. So you may even be the emperor. You are, if you are the emperor, you're the one that has to take charge of the situation that's just the way it goes All right here we go leo sun moon rising venus and jupiter please tell me about leo leo if you're interested in a private read please look below you'll find the yellow dot that will take you to wizio this is for you leo the sneak peek for this week we are looking at the hermit so Spending time alone, time with self. We've got the um, we've got the moon in the reverse, and we have the 
the strength in reverse. <coughs> We've got all three major arcanas. You're going through a lot right now. <coughs> Excuse me. You're going through a lot of change. And I think you're going through a lot of change. It's because you've been spending a lot of time by yourself, I think. Spending a lot of time thinking. In the think tank. Should I tell them? Should I not tell them? The hermit looks into the past, and but the moon is here in the reverse. It feels like, should I tell them about what's about to come to the surface or should I not? This is what the thought pattern is about. Something is about to come to the surface. And it's causing you to go within. It's causing you to find your inner strength. What is this? There is some sort of knowledge that's coming to the surface here. Leo. What is coming to the surface, please? What's Leo thinking about in hermit mode? By the way, we have Pisces, Cancer, Virgo, and Leo. Some, something that's going to be revealed really soon. And it's going to cause you to have to make a decision about what? About love. So something is coming to the surface. It's coming quickly. And I feel that the, the wisdom of the Hermit is here to say, do I reveal this to somebody before it comes to the surface? It feels almost like the hermit is like, do I catch it midway? Do I tell this person that I've already made a decision? You've made a decision about something. It's like taking a new path or you want a new path in passion. It's like you don't want to be held down. I feel like you, you feel tied down right now. Or that someone is trying to tie you down. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer in a general reading. I think you've made a decision that you're going to tell somebody how you feel about them. And that's what's coming to the surface. You may be telling the Queen of Cups how you feel, or you could be the Queen of Cups, feminine or masculine. I feel like you are standing there in your feelings. She's got her foot in the, in the, in the water. I feel like you've had a change of mind or change of emotions, both probably because we've got the Knight of Swords here and we have the Queen of Cups here as well. It feels like transformative energy, which is, which is putting you back at the crossroads at this moment I feel which is the present moment I feel that you are you are headed back to the crossroads to pick a different path been up in your head for a bit trying to figure out what you want to do a situation here Leo that is attached to love or to your feelings or to love type feelings it feels as though this is not something that you felt before or that you felt in a long time is what I want to say but it gives you balance the Queen of Cups is the one that's all loving this person will pour gush onto you I feel like you have changed your mind about how this person has changed your mind about how you feel about balance. This person is comes to you with a lot of balance, I feel. The King of Cups, hey? Hmm. So you see this person as the soulmate or, or you two are very connected in a way that you've not been connected to anyone else. I think you're trying to make a decision about someone that you're quite deeply connected to, but I feel almost as if it's a transformation in how you're thinking and feeling about them. They give you balance and I think you're about to make a decision about your feelings or about being with this person here. 
we've got the Queen of Pentacles. This person is the one that emulates the uh, the Empress. So the person I feel that is your person is someone who is healing and loving and kind, probably a good mother. This is could be masculine or feminine energy, but it is predominantly feminine leaning, um, as is this one. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is the one who's, you know, generous and balanced and dependable. And it feels like your person is both of those things. So they're not only matching you in your in your emotional energy. I feel like they feel the same way you do, is what I want to say, because the true pair is showing up here. I feel like there's the same feelings that you're feeling, this person is feeling as well. Take your side, whether you're feminine or masculine. But I think that you see this person as someone who is quite dependable and very balanced and someone who um, is generous and... Just listening. I think you want to get off on the right foot, is what I want to say. That you're hoping that this is the one that you're going to invest in. But the Five of Swords and the Three of Wands tells me that if you go too quickly, you might trip yourself up. Maybe you don't deliver the message correctly. Or I'm going to say don't rush it. Don't rush it because it could come out as... Um, as uh, saying things that are not uh, saying the wrong thing and offending someone, I guess, hold, making someone hold back, right? Uh, it feels like it feels like you want to say everything, but you're going to hold back for a little bit, I think, because of the Ace of Cups or the Ace of Pentacles. Sorry, because I feel like you want to know if this person is is going to take that pentacle, that queen, because she's holding her own pentacle, right? So it's a little bit intimidating for you because she's already got a pentacle and you're bringing in a pentacle. So you're like, you know, all I can give you right now is kind of, you know, an imbalance of, of I'm really busy in my life and I'll see you when I can. That's really all I can give you. Tell me what's coming to the surface. Four cups. The lovers. Okay, so I think, uh, Leo, that you've realized that someone here is your counterpart, that you've realized that they are your soulmate here. Um, the chariot is quick moving energy, the fastest in the deck, and it is does race toward victory. Uh, it also, you know, to me is cancer energy. It's like keeping your feelings under the surface from this person. And when you're with them, I think that you're four of cups. I think you're like, meh, like this person doesn't even know that you have feelings for them because you show up as so very serious. You show up as, as Scorpio. Right, you show up as um, as the Four of Cups, being sort of redundant and kind of feeling bored in your energy. But honestly, I think this is where you really are. You're like ready to to crash through the surface. I think because this person is kind of all of it. I think that's what's coming to the surface here. That you've realized, yeah, where your Ten Cups are, and that this person that you've been talking to is really super abundant. Mm, that's hard for you. It's hard for you and that might be what is, is causing the disconnect here. I feel like this person that you're interested in is someone who might be a business owner or someone who doesn't need your pentacle. Um, uh, you know, the queen holds her own pentacle and then there's a pentacle here. Now we have the nine of pentacles, nine and one is ten. I feel like that this person feels like they've been waiting for someone to invest in them. So it's not really about money. It's about to, to your person. It's about someone wanting to invest in them. And just the fact that someone wants to invest in them will allow them to go to the Ten of Pentacles, which is all of it, the long-term relationship, the abundance. And I feel like I feel like you feel some type of way that this person is very balanced and makes their own money and you feel like you're not needed. I'm going to tell you that it doesn't matter how much money he or she makes, everyone needs to be held at the end of the day. And that's the truth. Yeah, you've been thinking about it a lot. You're wondering if you should just go head first. Yeah, be careful with that. I think that you're going to make a snap decision. You're going to end the silence here and you're going to tell this person all of it. Because I think that's all it is. I feel like you are feeling the feelings about this person, Leo, but you're not saying the feelings. So although you're feeling them, I don't think they have an idea what you feel like. Because you're not being uh, forthright with them. You're not being Leo. All right. Virgo, this is you. The moon rising, Venus and Jupiter. Let's look at Virgo, please. Virgo, if you're interested in a private read, please look below. You'll look for the yellow dot. That'll take you over to Wizio. 
Virgo, my Earth cousins. I am a Taurus sun. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Sun, moon, rising. Venus and Jupiter. Your season's not too, too far off. All right, let's talk about Virgo, please. This, in this week. This is a sneak peek for this week. We've got... Got the seven of pentacles in the reverse don't want to wait anymore we've got the ace of wands in the reverse interesting just gonna make sure no they're not upside down <laughs> all right i don't want to wait anymore i have this i have no more passion here I'm not passionate about this situation at all anymore Virgo, why do we keep getting this energy? This is the energy I'm getting. How is that happening? Okay. We've got um, the Empress in the reverse. Ooh, I understand. Okay. There's no abundance here. Virgo, what I want to say is that you are the pentacle farmer. You're the one farming and farming and farming and farming and farming. And it feels like you're not getting anywhere. It feels like you keep, you keep trying to keep this this connection that you have in the 3d with this person you've been trying to keep it alive you've been the farmer you've been the one because virgo right all about service all about serving other people and i can attest to that um with virgo lovelies in my life that they really are all about ser service and um i feel like with the seven of pentacles though it's like i can't wait any longer the empress is in reverse when the empress is in reverse she's ignoring everything else except herself when the empress is in the upright the empress is doting but understand she's very balanced she's all the queens when the empress is in the reverse it's like she's overcompensating on one of the queens i see that as the emperor as well so you know the the, the empress could be out of whack because maybe she's um you know maybe she's depleted maybe she's the the maybe the queen of cups is depleted i've been giving 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 too much you know this is the empress the empress can also be someone who um uh, when they're in the reverse is is all about themselves to the exclusion of everyone else right which is the other end of the spectrum the spectrum <laughs> the other end of the of the spectrum is that I'm not paying attention to any, every, everybody in this house is every man for himself because I'm going to get my nails done. I'm going to go get a ma manicure. I'm going to go uh, get my hair done. It feels like, it feels like somebody here is like, screw the rest of you. I'm taking care of me. And I feel Virgo is that that's the energy that you're living in right now. And it doesn't make you feel any more attracted to the Empress when the Empress is ignoring you. And that's what I feel is going on here because of the Ace of Wands being in the reverse. I feel like the Empress is, is, is taking care of herself to the exclusion of you, to the exclusion of everyone else. There is a Wheel of Fortune under the deck here. Got the windows open, by the way. You're going to hear some road noise. Okay, that one just fell. What is that? We've got... The Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. It came out in the reverse. I don't want to work on it anymore. All right. Yeah. Virgo, what I want to say it is, is this week is that you're, you're no longer passionate about the situation that you're in. It feels like you no longer want to wait to... Um, you no longer want to wait or work on this situation anymore. This could be your job. This could be the house that you're carrying that has a heavy mortgage. This could be a relationship that you're currently in. Or this could be something with a friend. Absolutely. But what I want to say is I feel as though you're manifesting your way out of something. You're manifesting you're manifesting um, happiness here, material goods. Um, you're manifesting the Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment. Because right now, I feel as though you stopped working on the relationship that you're in. Yeah. I feel like you have all the tools that you need to be happy. The thing is, is I don't think you want to leave. I think you're trying to be strong. I don't think you want to leave. I don't think you want to leave the Empress while the Empress is in reverse. 
tell me more about the Nine of Cups, please. I think that where you are right now used to feel like the Nine of Cups, but I don't think it feels like the Nine of Cups for you anymore. We have the world in the reverse and we have the five of swords in the reverse. So what I think we have reverted to is just not speaking to each other. I think that in order to keep the peace that it's mostly silent, that you like it that way. I feel like there's so much unfinished business in terms of your life. I'm not even talking about if this is a relationship. I, I feel as though with the world in the reverse that you you feel as though you've missed out on so much in your life by, by staying in situations that you don't want to be in because you're the person who is the caregiver or you're the person who is, who is the one who is the protector or... Um, the person who maybe you're the one that makes all the money and when you leave the money goes with you but it almost feels like with the world card in the reverse to me is unfinished business or something i can't close the situation i don't know how to end it but i need to be happy i want to be happy but there's unfinished business and we're not talking anymore i need to find a way to manifest myself out of this I gotta say something. Yes, you do. Temperance, when the time is right, and then I'm gonna hit him with the double-edged sword. So I feel like in this week, I feel like this is finally because I've been I've been feeling this energy for you, Virgo, for a while, whether you're feminine or masculine, that you've been trying to work up to some sort of communication. You need to say something to somebody that you're either in a relationship with or somebody that uh, maybe it's someone at your job, like you, you need to quit your job because you don't want to put any more work in, you're not happy there, but you almost feel like you can't go. You can't go until you say the words, but you've been really silent. The Queen of Swords is about to step up on deck, though. You've been really silent with the Five of Swords in the reverse, and maybe what's been silent is maybe you've been now responding instead of reacting because, you know, the Five of Swords in the upright is reactionary, right? And I find that in the Five of Swords in the reverse is more of a response. And so I feel like maybe you're trying to find the words or you're trying to wait until the right time, temperance is here, until the moment of alchemy comes, and then you're going to hit this this empress with what it is that you've been wanting to say. Why are you not willing to work on it anymore, Virgo? Whew, because my gut's telling me to go. My gut is screaming at me to go. Yeah. The high priestess and the tower. We've got the King of Swords as well because we're fighting all the time. That's what it feels like, that there's really sharp words, harsh words that, that are going on here. And it feels like you're waiting for the right moment to go. The King of Swords. The King of Swords will, will never take anything less than the absolute truth and transparency. The queen, uh, sorry, the high priestess is Pisces. We've got Scorpio energy here. We've got Scorpio, uh, Taurus, Aquarius, and Leo. We've got Aries energy here. We've got Taurus and Libra. We've got Gemini and Aquarius as well. We've got Sagittarius. So I feel that you're not willing to work on conversation anymore. That it's, it feels like it's not even worth talking about anymore. My gut is telling me to go, so I'm going to go. There's no more hope left. There's no more hope left here. I've got the Three of Cups in the reverse. You think that your person has got another person. You think you're being cheated on. And I think it's this week that you find the chutzpah for this. I think you're going to say something to this Empress in reverse. Whoever they are. All right. Libra, this is for you. Time here. All right, we're not doing too bad. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Libra, how are you, my beautiful creatives? And uh, I am here to do uh, a reading for you for this week. This is your sneak peek for this week, Libra. If you're interested in a private read, please look below. You will find the yellow dot, and that will take you over to Wizio if you're interested. All right, here we go. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What's coming up this week? Sneak peek for this week, please, for Libra. Sneak peek 
for this week for Libra. Got the Eight of Wands. You're getting some type of communication. Or maybe this week is the week everything speeds up for you, Libra. We have the Lovers. Interesting. You might get communication from someone who, who really has a lot of feelings for you or someone from the past who you consider to be a soulmate. King of Wands. Could be dealing with a Leo, could be dealing with a Gemini. It feels like everything is going to move quickly this week for you. And I, I just feel like with the Eight of Wands present, it could be about communication um, from the King of Wands. Could be about passionate communication. But what I feel is going to happen is this week's going to speed up in terms of whatever this is about here, the lovers. Now, I feel like the lovers is in the past. It feels as though the lovers is where the communication comes from. It feels like there is somebody you have feelings for and that has feelings for you. Someone who is really easy to be with. It feels like this person, it, they feel like a soulmate to you, Libra. And the Ace of Wands tells me that you're looking forward to a passionate start. The thing is, I think you've been hurt a lot, right? Not, uh, eight and one is nine. And then one in the, in the I was going to say the hat. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the crown of the king is the 10th wand. I feel like you want to or have to do some healing here um, because I feel like you're about to, to start a cycle over again is what I want to say because we've got 10 wands here and it feels like the ace of wands is the beginning and it starts out with passion. Um, I feel like either you or your person are quite um, confident grounded. I feel like you're very patient. Um, you're very patient, but I think things are about to move forward quickly here. You might have Earth in the chart. You might have Gemini in the chart. I feel like this week, this week, if you are single, somebody is going to reveal that they are very attracted to you. The Ace of Wands is here with the brand new, you know, brand new connection, a brand new soulmate connection. We have the Six of Swords. So you have, it feels like you've detached from something back there in the past that made you feel chaotic. Maybe it was a thought pattern because we have swords here. Maybe it was about passion. Maybe it was about a soulmate. But I feel like this is, it feels renewed to me. It feels like you've moved away from there or detached yourself. You've taken the lessons that you had to learn back there. Six of Swords to me is why would you carry all the heavy down swords if they weren't precious, right? Their thoughts and communications and feelings and things that you've learned that you don't want to live back there, right? Leave back there. And uh, it feels like there is um, a moving away from chaotic, passionate thoughts about this person in the past. And I feel like it's time to move forward that I feel like we're going this way now. I feel like you want to communicate with somebody here. Someone who's possibly a Cancer, someone who is Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. We have the Page of Wands. So yes, it looks like there is a fast, fast moving messages going on here. It feels like you feel a little bit lighter this week, is what I want to say. Because I think we've been talking about this this energy of wanting to go to the past, wanting to go to the past, and the universe wasn't letting you. I think that because you didn't go there, I feel like you were allowed to move on. Uh, we've got the chariot here in the page of wands, which tells me that we've got messages coming in really quickly, um, passionate messages from somebody who is single, possibly someone who is a fire sign. You could have fire in your chart as well. You haven't heard from this person in a while, or it feels like it's taken a long time to actually have someone call you and ask you, do you want to go out, right? Can I take you out somewhere? Um, the Eight of Pentacles is maybe this is someone that you used to work with, um, or you two are in the same line of work. So you're both circus clowns, or you're both musicians, or, you know, you're both shoe salesmen, <laughs> whatever it is. You know, it feels like if you don't work together, that you do the same work or that you're familiar with each other's work. Got the Four of Pentacles. And the Two of Wands, okay. 
it almost feels as though um, that you were, <laughs> I want to say that you're you're just about to put yourself back out there, and then you get this communication from somebody. The Knight of Pentacles tells me that it's been a long time since you've actually spoken to someone about, you know, victory and passionate things and, you know, those, those types of things. So that makes me feel like you haven't been out there dating or been putting yourself out there to date. I feel like you are single, and I feel like you are someone who is very passionate, that you probably have fire in the chart or or air, but I mean, you already have air. You're very smart anyway, right? It feels like um, the Four of Wands tells me that it's it's just before you decide to go back to the crossroads and take another path and try something new that somebody here that you used to work with shows up. Yeah, it's like a, they it's like they're they break through the clouds. The sun breaks through the clouds, and oh, <laughs> temperance is here. I want to say that an angel finds you um and it could be a literal angel find you but it could be a sagittarius or a leo as well and that energy does feel like sunshine to me it does feel like all the angels singing um and i feel like it is th this that stops you from going back to the crossroads that you realize that you're on this path for a reason We've got the uh, Six of Cups. Okay, so this person definitely feels like a soulmate to you. Seven Pentacles. You've been waiting for a long while for the Emperor. So you've been just really, really choosy, right? You want someone who is high caliber, high energy, someone who is very confident, can take care of themselves, can, can take care of you if need be. We've got the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. So the reason that this has been moving so slow or the reason that this hasn't come together yet is because of the Eight of Swords. Somebody's overthinking it. I think it's the Emperor. Um, you could be the Emperor, but I feel it's like it's the other person that's the Emperor. I feel like you are just listening. Yeah, you're the one moving forward with the victory to the passionate messages that have been taking a long time coming in. The person who's contacting you is probably is probably fire. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. They they're probably fire and you probably have some type of fire or cancer in your chart. We got here. We've got the 9 of wands. So, been hurt in love before, huh? Join the club. <laughs> We've got um, we've got nine cups here, so this is wish fulfillment. I feel like you're you're scared of it. I feel like you're scared of this situation because it boom it comes so bright. It's like this person appears and they're like the angels, like the 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 clouds part and the angel drops out. But we someone who's who's this energy, Sagittarius Leo, that's like kablam. <laughs> yeah, that's like you you notice it for sure. Somebody, I feel that you're gonna meet your soulmate. Yep this week all right Scorpio it's you Scorpio Sun Moon rising Venus and Jupiter Scorpio if you're interested in a private read please look below in the description follow me over to Wizio so my friends oh yeah you are reminding me to drink my water how are you my psychic friends I do have the window open so you will hear some at some point some road noise Scorpio, let me connect to you here. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Scorpio, please. Tell me about Scorpio. Scorpio for this week. This is your sneak peek for this week, Scorpio. It's too many. Scorpio. Sneak peek for this week, Scorpio. Scorpio. Scorpio, what's on the top of your mind is hmm, emotional. It's emotion related here. Oof, are you going to do the pop up? Scorpio, is that what you're going to do? So the page of cups to me is indicative of I have an apology or I just probably am going to show up, show up somewhere or it's a shock or a surprise. The Knight of Swords is indicative of that as well. You might be wanting to surprise a soulmate or someone that you've known for a long amount of time. This person is someone that you have affection for, someone that, you've, that you have nostalgia with. So someone who is a friend of the family or, you know, someone that you've known for a while. Maybe you've uh, 
worked with this person before or grew up with them in the neighborhood. This is someone that you already have a connection with. And I feel as though something is about to change quickly. And it's because of some type of message either you are getting or you are sending. Tell me about this. Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio. Nine of Cups. And the Strength in Reverse. So you're, you, you're trying to get the inner strength. When I see uh, strength in reverse, I don't necessarily see it as weakness. I see it as someone who's really trying hard to, um, to wrestle with their own demons. It's like, you know, we're, it's, it's the lion and it's like we're wrestling with the, the, the lion within. But to me, it's almost like wrestling with the demons. It's, it's um, not talking yourself out of it, but wanting to talk yourself out of it. It feels like inner strength. I really got to find the courage to do this because I think that you already know that this person, this person who is uh, I identified as the Six of Cups to you, this person is already uh, someone who is the Nine of Cups for you. I think you're planning on telling someone that, Scorpio. The only reason you haven't set it up till now is because you don't really want to be seen by them right now. You've been holding back or you've been closed off or shut down. You haven't really been saying anything. So I think it's while you're trying to gain this... You're trying to gain this inner strength to connect with the soulmate because you know that this person is everything. I think you're about to either send them a message, surprise them with a message, a, a happy message. This is part of your <laughs> gaining steam, I wanna say. It's, it's what you have to do in order to connect. It feels like this is where you're at, but I feel like the Four of Pentacles tells me that there's no communication between you and this person. So it's like you have to, you really have to dig deep. You have to dig deep because it feels like you're just so terrified of being rejected or not seen as strong or not seen as someone who is, um, you know, risking it, putting it out there, right? I've got the moon. The reason you're holding back is because you don't know what to expect. You don't know what this person's going to say because you've been silent with them. You've been in the in inner strength mode. Yeah, you've been taking care of the self. You you don't necessarily know what they're going to say. The reason that you're holding back, even though they feel like your happiness, the reason you're holding back is because you don't feel ready. You're still hurting from the past. You, you keep a lot of, of, of things. I want to say that you keep a lot of things to yourself, but I think you bury them in the moon energy. It's time to do some shadow work when the moon is throwing you so much off your path that it's it's like you're shut down. And the reason you're shut down or closed off or not sharing is because the moon energy is here and it's giving you the feeling of I can't see where I'm going. I don't really know and it makes me nervous and it makes me sad and I'm feeling vulnerable. We've got the um, the judgment in reverse. So I want to say that it's quite possible that you probably misjudged this person who is your soulmate. I think that you either used to work with them or you do the same type of work they do. This person, I feel you misjudged them and you're not sure if it's even, if it's even fixable, if, if you can even revive it. Judgment in the reverse. I feel like you want to work on this friendship or relationship, whatever it is, with the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. I think that you're really willing to put the hard work in. You're really willing to take the helm, too. You're going to be the one who is going to take charge, feminine or masculine. This, to me, is masculine leaning, but you could be a, in a feminine body, but you could be um, masculine leaning as well. 
we've got the magician. So I think that the emperor is someone who has been um, manifesting you, is what I want to say. I want to think, for some of you, it's your boss, I'm just going to say. With the Eight of Pentacles and the Emperor, this person could be your boss. You could have fallen in love with them at work. Um, this Emperor is probably someone who other people see as quite talented or having all the tools. This person seems to get whatever they want. They're probably a master manifester. Um, I feel like this person, Scorpio, I feel like you know this person. I feel like this person is someone who has their own business or has a lot of businesses or or does a lot of business. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like you, you see it as it being really easy for them to make money. But I really feel like you don't you don't understand that they're a duck on the pond, right? Like you see the duck and it floats on the pond. But when you look underneath, its little legs are going like, you know, don't die, don't die, don't die. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... I, I feel like this emperor, although, yes, very bossed up and in charge and, and, and in charge of the business or a few businesses, I feel like this person is like someone who is the duck on the pond. You only see what they allow you to see. You are wondering if this is, you're wondering if this is something that um, can be resurrected because you misjudge somebody here. So why do you see them as the Nine of Cups? I'm kind of confused about what's going on here. See, you've always loved them. You've always had love for them. And I feel like you, you've been trying to make a decision, but you're still in indecision. This person looks to you like the Ten of Cups, and you want to start something again with them. It could be... Maybe you feel intimidated by their station or what they do. Maybe you feel intimidated by them being a business owner. But this person, I think you already have a relationship with them in the Three of Pentacles. I think you know them from somewhere, maybe from work possibly. But I feel like they're on your team or you're on their team and they're on your team. Like you guys really have each other's backs. But I really do feel like this is, this is something that has either always been love or has turned into love. Right now you're single, individual energy. I think you're looking for love though. I feel like there's a message coming that's kind of going to shake you out of your tree. Somebody's probably going to ask you to go out. Um, going to ask if they can take you out. I think you know that this is coming. I think it's in your gut, Scorpio. I think you already know that this is coming. But either you're going to ask somebody out or um, they are going to ask you out. One of the two. And that's this week. And I think it's somebody you already know, but uh, somebody that maybe, I don't know, makes you feel, I don't know, how do they make you feel? They, it, it almost feels like you think that, that you're not on the same level as the emperor, but what I want to say is if you're calling the emperor in, you're a damn emperor. That's the energetic level connection. You are not, um, uh, Scorpio, you are not calling in what you want, you're calling in what you are, right? So if this person shows up for you, you're the emperor. You're on the same energetic level as the emperor. All right, let's take a look here. This is for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, I'm your Saggy sister. It's in my rising. How are ya? Thank you so much for clicking here. I appreciate you, whether you're a cross watcher or you're a Sagittarius sun, moon, rising, Venus or Jupiter. If you're interested in a private read, please look in the description below. All right. We, um, we start off with the Five of Wands here. Some indecision or feeling like you're in competition for what, Sag? For what? The Knight of Cups. You feel like you're in competition for somebody's emotions or somebody's love, and that's why it's taking so long. I think that's what you think. I think this person has a closer eye on you than you think, Sag. The Knight of Pence is about to roll up. That thing that's been taken so very, very long, I feel is here and is going to be staring you in the face in no time flat. The Five of Wands tells me that the reason this person, it feels like your energy is saying, the reason I haven't heard from this person is, oh, they must be dating other people. For sure, there must be competition for their, this person is probably very attractive. Um, Earth energy. 
and you have a lot of feelings for them. Could be Virgo. Could be Fire as well. Sagittarius energy. And we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. And we have the Four of Wands. Interesting. I think you're waiting for a commitment. You're waiting for this person to ask you to move in or to tell you that they want more with you. I think that you're... It, I feel like it's almost like you're close to letting go is what I want to say. The Ten of Swords is like, um, I'm... I'm, I don't want to see the truth. I don't want to see the truth of what's going on here, but I think that there is competition for this person's affections. And Ten of Swords in the reverse is, but I don't want to see the ending. I don't want to see it for what it is. Knight of Swords. Just listening. I have the windows open. You're probably going to hear a little bit of road, um, road sounds or road noises. So I think, Sagittarius, you're wondering whether you should close the cycle or not. It feels like somebody here, you want to speak with them about what is this? What's going on here? Are we in a stable relationship um, is, is it something that's going to be long-lasting? Um, is there competition for you? It feels like this is your biggest culprit here. I think that's you. I think the Five of Wands is you beating yourself up and overthinking the whole situation. It's almost like you've brought yourself to a place. I want to say a tailspin. You've, you've brought yourself in this little tailspin and convinced yourself that this person must not be paying attention to you because they're dating other people or because there's competition for their affections. I don't think that's the truth. I think that this person is someone who, um, who moves really quickly or is very busy. Someone who like moves quickly like a messenger, someone who's always place to place. Maybe this person travels for work or is always at work. Maybe this person is a business person who's always at work. What I think you want is I think you want the, the, um, the commitment here. Um, you want this person to tell you that, that, uh, that y y they want you to move in with them or something like that. You've been waiting a long time for them to give you some sort of an indication that they're, that they're wanting some type of commitment with you. Now, the thing about the Knight of Swords is the Knight of Swords is very smart, very quick, but very forgetful. This person and you might not be on the same... This person seems like they're really busy, and so they're very forgetful. Or they're just running, running, running constantly. But what I want to say is you're the one that brings balance to the life. Um, and I think that you see it as, you know, well, we're already halfway to marriage. Why aren't we talking about the commitment yet? We've got the hermit in the reverse. When the hermit's in the reverse, to me, it's like I've, I've got a... I've got to come out of this place of solitude. I'm spending too much time by myself. I got to get out and talk with people. So I think that you are getting reciprocity as it, as it pertains to um, passion. I think this person's very passionate about you, incredibly attracted to you. And I think that in terms of passion, this person pours into you exactly as you pour into them. What I want to say, though, is that you don't see them a lot because the hermit is in the reverse now, but the hermit can be in the upright at any moment. And I think that when you do finally get their attention, it's all about the words. You just want to talk, talk, talk. It feels like this is someone who's in your life intermittently, someone who doesn't necessarily... Um, so someone who definitely doesn't live with you, someone who uh, is coming in and out for the passion, and um, that's okay with you. Six of Pentacles, right? It's, it's okay with you. It's the way that you two uh, have reciprocity with each other. And then we have the chariot, and then before you know it, they're gone again. You're wondering if you should end it. 
is this really what I want to is this really what I want to do for the rest of my life waiting for this person to give me their attention and the thing is is when they do come in to give you attention it is beautifully reciprocal but I really believe that it's very intermittent and interrupted because this person is very busy or very scattered and so I feel like you think that this person's spreading themselves too thin, that there's competition. I mean, when I say competition for this person's affections, it could be their children. It could be they have, they have, um, you know, maybe they really love to do a certain type of sport. Maybe they play baseball and they're always going to want to play baseball, but that cuts in on your time with them too. It feels like you're wondering if this is, if this is something that you're going to have victory in at all. I think that you want to ride it out, see where it goes, but I feel like the world tells me that it ends or eventually it ends um, because it feels like you make a decision to end it. I don't think it's the other person. I feel like this is all moving way too slow for you, Sag. We have the High Priestess, which tells me that your, your gut is, is telling you, check in with me. I don't know. Should you be here? Should we be doing this? You could be dealing with Scorpio, Aquarius, uh, Leo, or Taurus. Um, the gut is telling you, check in with me. Is it time to end it? I feel like this person gives you a lot of stability, though. Like, the thing is, is I want to say that they're intermittent with their visits or their communication, but I feel like this person's methodical. I feel like they're persistent. You know, they're very grounded and dependable. So they're probably, you know, right on point when it comes to the morning text. But this person can't really give you a lot of their time because their mind is overtaken with whatever it is that they do for a living we've got the devil yeah they're obsessively working that's what it is and i think that's why you are thinking of ending it that you don't talk to them much as they obsessively work and it it turns out to be arguments like it feels to you like you're not a priority anymore um we have the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So you're standing there, right? You're standing there with your love. You're standing there with the Ace of Cups. You're standing there with the Ace of Pentacles. You're ready to go. You're ready to make this commitment, but this person isn't even looking at you because they're so busy. And when they do surface, it's beautiful. This person gives you all kinds of reciprocity, but it's maybe only for a day. And then they go back underground and they go back to work again. I feel like you are standing there waiting for them to make their move. Yeah, you want them to make the move towards you and tell you um, that they want to have this, this thing with you here. I think they will. I think they will, but I think you have to be patient. You need to let them make the decision, I think. I also feel like they have a cup of love for you and that this person is the King of Cups. I think they are emotionally available for you, but I think that you, because you're Sagittarius, are maybe a little bit moving a little quicker, and this person wants to do it a little slower. Your person could be Earth energy. Um, they could be Cups energy. You know, they could be King of Cups, somebody who's stoic on the surface and doesn't really talk about love or their feelings, and that can be really hard. I feel like this person does have a cup of love for you they do want to stay on this path of love with you but i feel like you want them to make a decision a passionate decision and they got to give it to you are they the soulmate or are they not right are we going to figure this out or are we not right i think in the end there is a balance you could have libra in the chart but there is going to be you know this is this is a long-term relationship is what i want you to know this person isn't going anywhere it just feels like that they're they're quite busy in whatever they're doing and maybe you just need to i saw the queen of swords under here maybe you just need to voice yourself and let them know that you're feeling left out all right and then we have Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Capricorn, how are you? My Earth cousin, I am a Taurus Sun. I love you, Capricorn. Thank you for clicking here. I appreciate you. And if you are interested in a private reading, please look below. Um, there is, an, in the description, a yellow dot. You'll see everything you need to know there about booking a private reading. All right, here we go. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Capricorn this week. Sneak peek for this week for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oops. Capricorn, I feel as though... Hmm, you know what? I, I, I want to say that there is a new path coming up for you. There is a new path coming up for you. I feel like um, 
something that you're going to have an ending of something this week. There is the Ten of Swords is here and we can't ignore that the Ten of Swords is about a painful ending or we stop talking or we're just bringing it all to an end because it's been too painful. I feel like there is something that is coming to an end in, in, in the very near future this week probably. But I want to say that, you know, sometimes things come to an end so things can begin again. I feel like you you open a chapter here with someone and it's immediate nine of cups like it's it's great it's 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 all of the happiness that you want but in the in the bottom of the deck here we have the seven of swords which tells me it's you know now coming into the future we're in a place of swords we're not talking to each other we're not being honest with each other hiding things did i leave something back there gotta make sure i change my password on my phone it just seems a little sketchy Tell me about the Fool and the Nine of Cups, please. Could be dealing with a Virgo, could be dealing with Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Aries is here as well. I feel like the... I feel like the passion has always been on point. I feel as though the... The King of Wands is the one that takes action, somebody who's been actively participating in their Nine of Cups. I feel like it, it's, it feels like it's, it's a, what do I want to say? It's a, what am I seeing here? It's a um, falling star. Like, you know, when a, is it a falling star? Or is it, it looks like um, fireworks almost. Uh, what I'm seeing, Charlie's showing me fireworks that, of course, get shot into the, into the sky but it's 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 like a you know two or three second lull before we actually see it poof open do you know what i mean and it feels like it was a short amount of time where we had all of this on track where i was respected in the relationship and where you know we were we were really connected to each other in some sort of a a passionate yet spiritual way you could be connected to a virgo but i feel like the um the king of wands is telling me that it's not enough. The King of Wands wants more, needs passion, needs ultimate desire and passion. And I feel as though it, it, it started really like beautiful, but it feels like it's, it's ending. It's slowly winding down. Whether you're feminine or masculine... Your person could be the King of Wands. You could be wanting to end something with the King of Wands. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. You're going to have to take charge of it. Just listening. I want to say that when it comes to your communication with this person, I think it's on point, but I don't think it is for long periods of time because the, the king of, of wands is impulsive. I want to say that the passion is quite desire. It's like it's a, it's a fiery desire, I want to say, like almost a conquering. Like it, it feels like very, how can I say, very, very um, movie passion. It feels like, yeah, really movie passion. Like the passion is on point. But when it comes to when it comes to communication here, I don't think it's good. I think we're we're quiet here. Tell me about this, Emperor, please. I think that if you want to end it, you're the one that's gonna to have to end it. I don't think the other person's gonna end it, if that's what's going on here. If we're looking at you taking charge and deciding to go with your passions and end this situation. It feels like you could be married to this person or maybe you've already given them your commitment. Um, you know, maybe you're not married yet, some of you, but maybe you've already gotten engaged or you've been talking about getting engaged, getting married. And you're wondering if it's going to work at all. It feels like we're too busy. We don't even talk about it anymore. It's like we're too busy for passion. We're too busy to talk about commitment. And we just stop talking to each other. 
And when we do talk, it goes back to the passion. It feels like it goes back to the passion here. I feel like you're in a communication or, or in a relationship with somebody who, who wants to be the boss, but I think that you're the natural boss, I want to say, because... Well, not boss, really, but Capricorn, I'm trying to think of feminine and masculine. Of course, my brain always goes to feminine, and that's the empress, right? The one who's mimicking the empress. I, wanna f I feel like you, if you want this to end, if there's been arguing and fighting and hard communication, I feel like you're going to have to be the one that ends it because your person's not going to end it. You know what they're going to do? They're going to date outside the relationship. That's what they're going to do. I, I feel as though you're going to get some communication at some point. If you don't open communication with this person, Capricorn, you're going to get communication from somebody outside of your relationship that's telling you that this person is seeing someone outside of your relationship. It feels like uh, material world is very busy right now. So either you're working more than one job or you're the person who's providing all of it. We did just talk about the Empress. So I feel as though that you two are divine counterparts. But what I want to say is that it's a it's a tug and pull is what I want to say. Like it's a it's a it's a it's a war of words. It's a war of words. It's a it's a tug of war. It's a, a two people who want to be in charge and they're bump, bumping heads. Um, yeah, it feels like there's a masculine and a feminine, and it feels like the feminine is on the masculine level but has too much masculine energy. And um, if you're going to be in a relationship with a masculine, then you know, kind of have to balance your energies. One has to be feminine, one has to be masculine, and I feel like that's not happening here. It feels like there's a struggle for power. Yeah, and the struggle for power, I think, comes out in passion. But I don't think we're talking to each other. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. So we're at the end of the cycle. And it's almost like it's saying we're at the end of the cycle. Maybe you should get out while you're ahead. Because we don't always have to wait until the, the whole thing falls off into the ditch. And then we're screaming, yelling at each other and hate each other before we leave. It feels like, you know, you know that this is going to end, Capricorn. And you know that... You'll live for another day. All of this is giving you all the information that you need in order to be the empress. I feel like you're leveling up here. But I also feel like you're just not happy where you are. But you're staying there even though you're not happy where you are. You know that this is going to end. But you're waiting for the other person to end it. But you're standing at the Ten of Cups here, waiting for the Ace of Cups. I feel like you know that it's going to end. I also feel like when times are really good, they're amazing with the Emperor. But when times are bad, they're horrifying, is what I want to say. It's really terrible. Yeah, it's unrequited love. I'm just going to say that if you don't end it, I think that your person's going to end it. Yeah, because they're not, you know, they've, they've got the World card here, and they've got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, and the King of Cups in the reverse. They're not willing to put any more work in on this emotional part of it. I feel like somebody here is waiting to end the situation. Yeah. I think you're going to be fine because you're showing up as the Empress, but if I'm being honest, I think other people are already making you offers anyway. Yeah, I think you know this is over. Ah, I hate those messages. But they've been coming for you and for Virgo lately. I don't know why. All right. Aquarius, this is you. I just wanted to sing like the song. Aquarius, right? It's a dawning of the... I don't know why. I'm not a singer. <laughs> Aquarius. <laughs> All right, Aquarius, this is for you. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter, your sneak peek for this week, Aquarius. Sneak peek for this week, Aquarius. Sneak peek for Aquarius. If you're interested in a private read, Aquarius, please look into the description. You will find the yellow dot. I will be doing your reading this week, by the way. I will come back with another air sign reading. So we have uh, the Three of Pentacles and we have the Three of Cups. Oh, three, three. All right. A couple of threes. And we have the Page of Swords. 
somebody's going to ask you out, I think, Aquarius, is what I want to say. This person, I feel, has the beginnings of some feelings for you, but I feel like they're dating around. I'm just going to be honest. I feel like this person is going to bump into you and you're going to be a good fit. I think the Three of Pentacles is like, this person's kind of down to earth. They could be someone who is an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel like this person is someone who could be younger than you, or they could have a child. Um, or maybe you do, but the uh, the the page of swords is a messenger, right? It's it's the um, it's the information. Um, what am I trying to say? You come to the knowledge that this person, who you may have already met, because this is in the past, right here, this Three of Pentacles. You may have already met this person, and they may be coming at you for a date. You may have met them at a social gathering and they're coming at you for a date. Page of Swords. This person might be younger than you and is going to ask you out. We have the Moon Energy. You don't know how you felt about that person. <laughs> you're not sure how you feel about them. Yeah. I think you're very attracted to this person, but I don't think you know how you feel about them. Your feelings are all, I don't know, wish. Yeah, the moon is here with the Pisces and Cancer energy. It's like I'm not really letting, not really showing them how I feel. I think you're someone who uh, likes to keep them guessing and then hit them with the truth and the honesty. I feel like you like the reaction is what I want to say. Uh, you like the reaction of somebody underselling you and then going ahead and hitting them with the information. I think that you're really attracted to this person, but you're not letting on that you are. You're not really showing them that. But I think that you think they're a good fit as well. The Three of Pentacles. They seem quite grounded. They seem like somebody who... Um, you know, they might be starting a business or somebody who is who is at a point in their life where they're willing to find someone that they can grow with. We have the five of wands and you're in complete indecision. It's like, well, they're good looking, six swords or six wands. They're good looking, very handsome or very beautiful. Maybe I should try it. I'm going to get victory. I know they want to go out with me. They know all, all eyes are on me. It's like somebody is trying to figure out whether... Whether they want to go out with this person or not, I think you're really undecided. Tell me about the Five of Wands. I think you will. I think you will because the universe isn't going to leave you alone. No, it's, it's the Wheel of Fortune, right? We have all kinds of fortunate things coming here. And it's taken a long time to get here. We have the Wheel of Fortune and um, you could be dealing with Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, or Taurus. the windows open you're going to hear some road noise hmm. this person i think that you really were attracted to them but i think that this person is kind of very specific about the road they have in life and they want you to follow them i feel like they're very traditional as it pertains to um to commitments i feel like this person's very rigid in their thinking um, I feel like you are someone who is very flexible in your thinking um, to a point. And then it feels like you make the decisions and you go forward with that. Once the changes come and you have no more indecision, you make the changes and you go on your own path. I feel like you don't like when somebody says to you, follow me, because you're the leader, right? You're the you're the um, the fixed sign of the air signs. You're the leader, right? So the hierophant here, I feel... Uh, this person saying, here, follow me. This is the way it goes. You're like, no, I'm actually quite a lot more flexible than that. This is Taurus energy as well. Queen of Swords. The High Priestess. And so, yeah, you know, you're going to tell them, look, I move through life intuitively. I don't subscribe to tradition. I don't subscribe to the Bible. I don't subscribe to you telling me what to do or how to feel. Or how to feel it. I don't subscribe to your scripture. I subscribe to me. I subscribe to my intuition. And I have real trust in my intuition. It's never let me down. The Queen of Swords is here. And I think that you're just going to tell this person, look, I can be your equal, but I definitely will not be following. Only because I'm the one with the intuition. 
We have Pisces energy here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with the Queen of Swords. I feel like you're just going to be honest with this person about what's in your gut, that you're not the, you're not the one who's going to follow blindly. We have the Eight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups. So I think that you are attracted to them and you see them as the potential of someone who could be good for you, but you also see the Eight of Cups in the distance. Your gut is telling me, you that they're not going to be around for a long time, that they do have feelings or you have feelings for them, but they're not going to be around a long time. That's what the, the High Priestess in the Eight of Cups is telling me. Why don't you like this person? Or why didn't you like them when you first met them? Because it feels like you're you're thinking over whether or not you should even bother going through the cycle. <laughs> because you're just, you're kind of, you're fixed, right? You're on a point. And you're like, nah, I, I've got things to do. I don't think I'm into following you, which the Hierophant expects of you, right? Tell me about the moon. Why doesn't Aquarius like this person? Because you're already healed, and you saw this person coming, I think. I think the fact that they approach you with the Ace of Wands is, is the issue for you, because you're more cerebral, right? So they're going to catch more Aquariuses if they use their brains than if they use their brawn or their passion. And although we all have three signs, Moon and Rising included in that, um, I feel like I feel like the reason that you didn't necessarily like this person is because they didn't seem necessarily healed. Um, they did seem emotionally balanced, but there is something that you caught within the Four Swords in Reverse that feels like they're not necessarily healed. Or maybe they're not really good with communication. It could just be that. Because the Four of Swords I do see is that if you're in the Four of Swords, that, you know, it could be... Uh, little to no communication. We have the Knight of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. The Magician. Yeah, they're not really good at, at returning and for returning texts, returning communication. It's like when you you communicate with them, it takes forever, Knight of Pentacles, for them to get back to you. King of Pentacles, I was working, I was really busy. You know, they give you all sorts of of um, excuses as to why they were too busy. The magician, I was out making deals, I was trying to make money, I was at work, that's what it feels like. But it feels like you just end things with them here because it feels like they it, it feels like that there that you know that there is love coming in the future here. Queen of Cups is here. I feel like you know that there is another option for you is what I want to say. And this person, I think, has been wishy-washy. Yeah, they've been wishy-washy. And I think that um, they see you as a good fit, but you see them as wishy-washy. You see them as someone who's not really communicative, someone who takes too long to get back to you when you get when you talk to them and although they are emotionally balanced that they're just a really crappy communicator i think that you end it and then you start up with something with someone who's possibly coming back around you're going to have a second chance to fall in love like in real love i want to say the queen of cups you're going to be introduced to love this year to actual love where you don't have to chase people yeah you're going to be you're going to be out of your head i feel and this is the year that you meet the soulmate i think that you do all right. All right, all right. Here we go. Pisces. Last but not least, my two fishes friends. Let's take a look at Pisces, please, for this week. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Pisces, if you are interested in a private read, please look down in the description. You will find the yellow dot. And that, my friends, is where you will find the link to Wizio. All right. I am your two fishes friend as well. I have two fishes in my moon sign. Thank you for clicking here. I appreciate you. Let's find out what's coming up this week for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Pisces, please. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. And we have the Seven of Cups. 
Fools on the bottom of the deck. It looks like there is going to be a new chapter opening up for you soon. Two of Swords is in the reverse. It's because someone has made a decision. The Empress has made the decision. So whether that is you or them, the Empress is making the decision to move forward in a very courageous way. We're looking at the um, at the Knight of Swords in the reverse, which tells me that you know, we're not moving anywhere. Things are moving really slow or they're at a standstill and possibly for an illogical reason. Like it just seems like there's no reason that it shouldn't be moving. But I feel like the reason that, yeah, I just feel like the universe is protecting you. There's a seven of cups here and it feels like somebody has a lot of options in love. And you feel like it's coming to an end because this person has a lot of options in love. It feels like there's either there has been an ending or you feel like there's been an ending. But this is what's on the top of your mind is the Ten of Swords. So I feel like you're, you're thinking about this thing that's coming to an end. But I think that you've told yourself, the story that you've told yourself is that the reason it's coming to an end is because your person has multiple offers. It's just not moving anywhere for you, this, this relationship or this job. Maybe you missed getting the promotion because there was a lot of other opportunities. We have the Five of Swords. We have the, the Ten of Wands. And so this is, this is creating a really heavy burden for you. What I want to say is that the good thing is, is that we're at the end of the cycles here. The Ten of Wands brings the Ace of Wands. The Ten of Swords brings the Ace of Swords. So we do know that moving off into the future, that there is going to be something that you're going to be passionate about again. You're going to be making conversation, opening new conversations and meeting new people. But what I want to say here is that that the main feeling here that's burdening you is that this person has not contacted you or isn't speaking with you. And uh, it feels like there is. It feels like it's very tense, like every day that this person doesn't communicate with you is a day that you feel more burdened because you just think, well, they just don't want me. They're out with somebody else. We have the magician Oof, in the reverse. Okay. You think that this person is, is going to try to manipulate you with their words. And the words that they will use, I feel that you feel. <laughs> I'm feeling you. I think that you think that there is... There's this, this person who is the manipulator with their words as someone who's manipulating all the other cups in their life as well. And that's what the burden is, that you think that whatever this person is saying to you, you want to believe them, but you have a feeling, a gut feeling, that whatever they're saying, they're saying to everyone else as well, that you're not the only one. Tell me about the manipulation. Yeah, it's words. It's communication. It's passionate communication. Yeah, it's someone who doesn't really give you a whole lot of stability in your life. It's the Knight of Wands. It's someone who communicates with you now and then, who likes to try and use specific wording on you that you think that this person's manipulating you through their words. What I want to say is that you keep taking it and carrying it with you, the Ten of Wands. You're believing it, or if you don't believe it, it's like you want to believe it, but this person isn't giving you any stability in your life here. You've already offered this person a cup and they've ignored it. So you do have feelings for this person. I feel like you have feelings for them and they have passion for you. You are not the same. I think that this person's coming at you again. They are coming at you with their with their Knight of Wands energy. I feel like they're incredibly attracted to you. You have incredible chemistry with them. But with the Four of Cups, it feels almost like... Yeah, I feel like you offered them, you offered them a cup of love and this person was too busy with the party. Three cups, seven up there. I feel like this person uh, doesn't want to be held down and they're completely ignoring the fact that you have a lot of feelings for them. We have the five of wands and so now you're thinking, meh, should I? You're feeling like you're in indecision, trying to make a decision about, you know, this the, the right relationship for you is going to be one that you don't have to chase. 
You don't have to constantly wonder and chase and wonder what's going on with them and are they talking to other people and and you, it's the right relationship for you is not going to make you feel any of those things. I feel like you have a lot of indecision. I think that you think this person's coming back to offer a cup, but you offered them your cup and they said no, so this person might just want the passion. Eight of Cups. It feels like you are wanting to make a decision to just disconnect from this altogether. Because you think that this person has got you in some type of competition. I feel like you're... Yeah, that they've got you in some type of competition. Um, the judgment card is here. You guys keep doing this over and over again is what I want to say. This person's going to walk away, but they're going to come back. And then they're going to walk away and then they're going to ba come back. But understand, you allow it, right? You allow them to come back and, and rekindle everything or, or bring it back from the dead. And then you don't know what to do with it. Because I feel like this person isn't completely honest with you. I feel like the moon energy is here for a reason. The judgment is here saying this, absolutely, you can keep resurrecting this thing over and over and over again. This person, um, you know, figures like, I, I don't really know if this is what I want. Then they, they, they walk away from you, eight of cups, and they come back, judgment cup, or judgment cup, the judgment card, and uh, the moon. You don't know why they come back. You don't see them coming back, but this person keeps coming back and you keep letting them back in. Um, we have the... Uh, page of cups so they come in saying look i have feelings for you i really do but you don't know what to believe anymore because they keep leaving and coming back and not giving you any stability and someone who really did like you would give you stability this person is an emperor and we have the six of cups so you know them this person is someone who is in charge of a lot of things they may be a business owner or they're just carrying life in general could be a single parent um, this person is someone that you've known for a long time and i think this is someone that you two keep coming together going apart coming together going apart and it's it feels like the manipulation of the words is what gets this person back into your life every time. The manipulation of the words. Yeah, it's the, um, it's the page of wands and justice and the four of pentacles. It's like, oh, but come on, I've, I've, I can never let go of you. Let go of you. I'm always holding on to you. Just let me show you justice. Just let me show you. Let, let me give you some balance. It's like the 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 princess of wands is is the page of wands. It's like this person uses this tactic and they have used it since they were very young and it gets them whatever they want. That's what it feels like here. We have the um, the Ace of Pentacles and the Fool. This person is coming back. I feel I feel like this person that is has been manipulating you that they are coming back. But I really feel like this this is the time that they want to make, or maybe you think this. Maybe you think this is really the time that they're going to make a commitment with you and start brand new. What I want to say is that this person does want to be in charge, but they just keep coming in and out of your life, and, and you keep letting them do that. The Ace of Cups is in the reverse. The Seven of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. So they, the truth is, they're not in love, and they really don't want to work on it. This person is being manipulative, trying to get back into your life for reasons of passion. Six of Wands, they want victory. Two of Swords, they've made that decision. Six of Pentacles, they're just going to show you a little reciprocity so they can get back into your life. It's going to end, though. It's not for the long term. Four of Wands, they're going to give you all sorts of promises. Yeah, why don't we move in together? Look, everything's going to be great. We're going to move in together. It's not the energy I'm getting, y'all. I'm getting this. Yeah, it's going to end. It's going to end and it's going to break your heart. Ooh, well... <laughs> That didn't work out the way I thought it would. <laughs> All right, Pisces, I'm going to let you go for now. Thank you so much for coming here and watching. I do appreciate you. And uh, I will be coming back with readings, of course, throughout the week. I love you. I'm going to go for now. Love you guys. Bye.